What's up everybody? Thanks for checking out the video. I'm Luke. This is a Subaru only channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles and motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. In today's video, we're here in my workshop and I'm going to be walking you guys through the finer points of doing your camshaft seals. Yes, the camshaft seals. Sooner or later, yours is going to be leaking and I'm going to walk you guys through how they're designed and the right way to install them. I'm also going to show you guys my little tool that I pick up at the hardware store for about a buck fifty. It's a great little tool hack to keep in your Subaru toolbox. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm going to walk you guys through the design of these little camshaft seals and how the design determines how they need to be installed so that they function correctly. Let's check it out on the whiteboard. Alright, I've got the whiteboard right behind me, but the first thing you want to do is take a look at these camshaft seals. The first thing you'll notice when you look at these camshaft seals is that one side of the seal is totally flat. That flat side is going to go on the outside of the engine. If you flip it over, the other side is going to have a cup. And that cup side faces the engine and oil is going to fill that cupped area. Now let's take a look at the diagram on the whiteboard to understand a little bit more about why that cup side faces the engine. Okay, let's walk through this figure. Basically camshaft seals, your head's in black, your cam is in green right here. This is the snout of your camshaft that sticks out of the front of your head. Here's your camshaft seal. Your camshaft seal, which is this guy right here, is going to slide over the snout of that camshaft. Right here in red, I've drawn a little circle around one side of that camshaft seal. And I've blown it up here in a kind of an exploded view where you can see the cam is in green, the head is in black, and I want to show a close-up view of what the design of that camshaft seal looks like. Like I said earlier, the flat side of that camshaft seal goes on the outside of the engine. And that cup side of the camshaft seal goes towards the inside of the engine. And oil will fill this area in here and will fill that inside cup area. Now I've drawn a little circle right here where there's a little spring that goes on the inside of that cam seal. And you want to make sure that spring is there when you install the cam seal. Another thing you'll notice is that there's this 45 degree kind of ramped shape to the outside of that cam seal. That 45 degree angle always faces outside of the engine. And the reason for that is because that little spring in combination with the oil pressure in here applies pressure to this side of the cam seal. And when there's pressure applied to this area of the cam seal, it actually helps seal this little rubber guy against the camshaft as the camshaft is rotating. So remember, the camshaft is always gonna be rotating when your engine's running. The head is stationary. So these camshaft seals, when you install them, you're going to lubricate the inside of the camshaft seal and lubricate the snout of the cam. Do not put any lubrication on the outside of that cam seal. And I'll walk you guys through those steps when I install this cam seal on my engine in just a minute. Okay, that figure on the whiteboard behind me walked you through the design of these camshaft seals and hopefully help you understand how and why they need to be installed the way they do. However, there's still one more missing piece the tool you use to install the camshaft seals. Now this is a tool that I use. It's a one and a quarter inch Schedule 40 plug that you get in the plumbing section of your local hardware store. These plugs work perfect because they have exact right dimensions to install the camshaft seals. What I mean by that is when you take a look at your camshaft seal, you want the tool you're gonna to use to fill the entire face of that camshaft seal, but it can't go inside the inner diameter of that camshaft seal because the cam snout is going to fill the entire inner diameter. So you need to find a tool that basically has the exact same inner diameter so that you can push that camshaft seal over the snout of the camshaft. These Schedule 40 one and a quarter inch plugs have the perfect inner diameter and outer diameter to use to install these camshaft seals. And you may need to do your camshaft plugs there in the back of the engine. The camshaft plug requires a slightly bigger tool to install. Luckily, a one and a half inch Schedule 40 plug works perfect for the camshaft plugs in the back of the engine. So, go ahead and pick yourself up a one and a quarter inch and a one and a half inch Schedule 40 plug from the plumbing section of your local hardware store. They work perfect to install these camshaft seals and camshaft plugs. It's a great little tool hack that you'll keep in your toolbox for all future Subaru jobs.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and walk through using these tools to install the camshaft seals in the engine. Let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna walk through installing one of these camshaft seals. I'm gonna use my little camshaft seal installer that I got at Orchard Hardware. I got my camshaft seal right here. Let's go ahead and walk through the installation. The first thing you need to do is use a little lubricant, such as this assembly lube from Redline, to lubricate the inside of that camshaft seal and the outside of that camshaft snout. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now we got plenty of lubricant on the inside of the camshaft seal, and we have plenty of lubricant on the outside of the camshaft snout. Now remember this cup side goes in towards the engine and this flat side is going to be facing out. Gently get it over it and you'll see it's still sticking out a couple of millimeters. That's where you'll take your camshaft installation tool. You'll slide that over the snout. It fits perfectly because it's the right inner diameter and you use this camshaft tool and you'll lightly hit on the back here with a rubber or a plastic mallet to drive that camshaft seal in so that this face and this face are aligned. Let's go ahead and do this right now. Just hit it nice and evenly. Once you see the outer face of that camshaft seal is in the same plane as that metal machine surface of your cylinder head, you know the camshaft seal has been installed far enough and it's at the perfect depth. This camshaft seal is done and it's ready to go. Okay, I flipped the engine around and now I'm gonna do the rear camshaft plugs. Now the camshaft plug installation is basically the same process, although it's a bigger diameter, so you need a bigger diameter tool, which you got from the hardware store. These camshaft plugs also don't require any lubricant because they're just sealing the engine. So don't put any lubricant on these suckers. Just put them in dry and make sure they're installed all the way so that the outer edge right here is flush with the machine surface of the cylinder head. I'm gonna walk you through it right now. First, lightly install it. Make sure it's lined up so it'll go in straight. Then, take that installation tool that you got from the hardware store, put that over, and grab your rubber or your plastic mallet. And tap it down until it's totally flush. The nice thing about these pipe plugs is that they're the perfect inner diameter and outer diameter, so it makes it really hard to over-install these seals. You basically just tap it down until it's totally flush, and when you feel it seated, that surface is going to be pretty much flush with the machine surface in the head. And this plug is installed and ready to go. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there for today, guys. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I'm Luke. This is a Subaru-only channel. It's a DIY channel for home-based Subaru enthusiasts. If you enjoyed this video, if you thought it brought you value, please consider subscribing to this channel. That would be awesome. And if you're curious or you have any questions about anything I did in this video, please go ahead and leave a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. This has been a video on camshaft seals, how they're designed, how to install them, and how to make a sweet little tool hack to install the camshaft seals quickly and easily. Thanks again for checking out the video, guys. I'll see you next week. Later.